Welcome back to Tractor Talk, everybody. Glad to have you with us. we got a great show in store today. Another roundup of all the news, the funny stuff, the mods, you name it. Let's get started. Sometimes it's funny how we can get our revenge. Not that we should, but if you're going to do it, do it in a funny way. And this farmer had the right idea. He was tired of people parking on his property, so he took matters into his own hands, taught him a nice lesson. Let's watch. <laughs> Now I'm unsure why these folks thought that they could repeatedly park on this property, but it paints the picture that this wasn't the first time that had happened and this farmer was just sick and tired of it. Now after he spends a considerable amount of time <laughs> stranding these cars in his field without any help of escape, it does look like he offers a little bit of help there towards the end, trying to smooth out the transition toward the road before heading off to his homestead. Now we all got a little crazy in us, but sometimes there's a next level of crazy that we don't want to ever hit. This guy is just that. Now he's got a pretty popular YouTube channel and this video proves just why. He is pretty much fearless. You can see him tackling snow, driving backwards on these mountain roads with steep drop-offs on the side. He's plowing snow backwards, going high speed down these little village country roads. It is insane to watch him do it. It's mesmerizing. I lost track of time watching this video. I thought it was a lot of fun. Let me know what you think. Görüyor musunuz arkadaşlar? Burada rüzgar bayağı bir doldurmuş bu kısmı. Evet Şükret amca tamam mıdır? Hadi görüşürüz. Dönüşte uğrarım be. Well, I don't know if this is your favorite segment, but I know it's mine. It's time for tractor mods. This first one up is from Old Machinist. This came off of Green Tractor Talk. Just updating folks on what he was doing for the day, and I love this attachment that he came up with. Well. I guess it's not quite an attachment, but he's using his tractor in conjunction with it. You gotta take a look. He's got a sifter that he has on an angle to sift the soil to get the, the debris out of it, whether that's the sticks, the roots, the rocks. He gets whatever he needs to out of there just to have a nice cleaned pile of soil on the bottom to use. It's a really cool design. I love it. Again, not technically a tractor attachment, but you can see he's using his loader bucket to dump that soil out on there, filter it out. I think that's a really clever idea. Now from the Coyote Tractor Group, Mark Harnish shares something pretty cool. I have never seen this before, but I like the idea. If you have a very slick application, I can see this around a farm or a homestead, some other large surface, some other large parking area that's unpaved, that gets a lot of packed snow and ice. He's got some sort of a little ice scraper, ice breaker. It just roughs up the surface of the ground there. Now I think the intent is to get additional traction out there and make it a less slippery surface. If you're going to have a prolonged period of deep freezing weather where that ice can't just disappear, this is a good way I can see to manage that and make it less of a dangerous surface. Now over on the Facebook forum, Scut Life, Kathy and Dave share a pretty cool option here. This is, what is that, a 2210, maybe a 2305, a subcompact tractor from John Deere, and they modified a, a three-point version of a hydraulic fork system to go up and down, lift up some really heavy attachments on there. You know, that's something I've never done is use one of these three-point systems. They have the a lot more simplified version that's available, but this is taking like a, the front end of a forklift, it looks like, and just modifying it to work on their tractor. It looks to be extremely capable. They did a really good job modifying it. And in fact, it's even quick hitch compatible. <laughs> now, Bob from Lakes Region, New Hampshire, emailed me some pictures of his homemade wooden snowplow for his new Howland Compact tractor. Has some hydraulic angle on there too, a skid steer quick attach on the back. 
This thing is really creative. Bob says he built this as a prototype, but it worked so well that he never built another. He had purchased a skid steer plate and a two inch hitch extension from Amazon, did some modifications to it, did some improvements to it, and came up with this masterpiece. I love it, I think it looks great. Now Mike from Darien, New York had emailed me some modifications that he made to his box blade. Extra hydraulics are an amazing thing, and Mike utilized those on this box blade to make the entire thing swing up so that you could just use those scarifier shanks, those big teeth to rip up the ground if you needed to. Did a really good job making this swing system so you could drop it right back down. You don't have to get off the operator seat. I tell you, some of the skills you guys have never cease to amaze me. You have a lot of fun, a lot of creativity doing it and it shows through. Now a couple weeks back, we shared with you an Apex burial system. This whole wire spool layer contraption that was awesome mounts to your three-point hitch. It makes it a breeze to lay down cabling, wiring, maybe small water lines, whatever you need to do, something flexible in your yard. Well, since the government's always watching, Google recommended to me another product that is along those same lines, which is the NovaQuip Single Ripper Wire Layer. And so from what I can tell, this isn't technically available in the States, but it looks like you may be able to buy this on their website and still have it shipped to the States. And this is a more simplified version where you would need to have somebody holding your spool of wire or your cabling, whatever it is, as you're laying it down. But it's just essentially a modified single shank ripper that has a drop tube on the back so that it's gonna bury your cable, your wire underneath the ground as you go along. Now, this is a ready-made system that you can buy right off the shelf. But if you want to get creative, do it on your own. There's a couple of guys out there that have YouTube videos showing just how they made their contraptions and how they worked in the field. Your safety reminder for the week is brought to you by Boro Wheel Spacers. If you are feeling tippy side to side on your tractor, these tractors are long, narrow. A lot of them have high centers of gravity, especially those with cabs on them. I'd encourage you to check out Wheel Spacers. Bora makes a made in America product with a lifetime warranty. Get more information at the link down below. We've all seen some pretty awesome souped up lawnmowers out there I'm sure over the years but this one might take the cake so if you find yourself with a little bit of that spring fever or the winter blues you want to do something creative maybe you can use this video for your own inspiration and see what you come up with hello Marka y'all check out my new lawnmower I had me one of them zero turns but I got tired of getting sunburnt, and I got tired of having to swamp butt every time I cut the grass. I wanted something more luxurious. This is a Briggs and Stratton 600cc motor. It's the same thing them Apache helicopters has got. Now all I got to do, flip that switch and turn it on. This week, our Tractor of the Week was originally shown on Classic Tractor Fever TV, but it was worth resharing with you guys. This is a very cool Alice Chalmers. They say it's the last garden tractor that they manufactured, but that in and of itself is not what makes it so special. Let's take a closer look to see what sets it apart. Now I know a lot of us have steep banks. That could be a ditch, that could be a pond, where something like this would come in really handy. I'm sure I'm not the only one that would love to have a machine like that. Hey, I hope you are enjoying today's video, and if you want to see more, we'd love to have you follow along. Hit that subscribe button right down below. We have over 450 videos. We have some other Tractor Talk videos, too, and more coming out every week. And I'm guessing that if you're watching, there's a good chance you own a tractor as well. And guess what? We sell tractor attachments. We ship them all over the country all the time. Check out our website, goodworkstractors.com. We'd love to help you out. All right, everybody, time to gather around. Let's say our tractor prayers. So this comes from a pastor down in Kentucky who sent over a lot of pictures and video as well. He says, I'm a pastor in Eastern Kentucky. We have an annual blessing of the tractor service at our church. The focus of the service is tractor safety and all things farming. So they have a cookout, giveaways, and as each tractor is leaving to go to the parade, they do say a prayer over it. Now this is uplifting to see and sure makes me happy to be part of the tractor community. Every week we like to focus on a small tractor YouTube channel and this week is no exception with a Ritter Bit Will Do. He is one of the friendliest guys out there and he is cranking out videos on a regular basis. If you're a fan of Kubota, a fan of small tractors, these are family oriented videos. You can get the whole family around to watch them. But he has a great 
great time up in Minnesota. We have featured clips from several of his videos on our channel. They're fun, they're informative, they're engaging. He has about the same amount of videos that we do right now so he can keep you entertained for hours and hours. Check out A Ritter Bit Will Do. Hit that subscribe button, give him a thumbs up, leave a comment, let him know you're out there supporting him. Now, in some ways, I think of tractors as artists, you know, planting these fields, these beautiful sunsets and sunrises over a, a golden harvest out there but this is art in a different form. If you're looking for something to spice up your barn, this could be just a ticket. Let's check out Chris's video. for your roundup around the world, our latest tractor news. Now, I've always been curious, I'm sure you guys have too, if a tractor can go right through a fence. Well, that's what this guy wanted to find out when he tried to steal a helicopter with a big red tractor. Well, as this guy found out, it's just not quite that easy. You can't go smashing right through a fence with your tractor and his attempts to steal the chopper were thwarted. Now, maybe if it were me, I would have tried to chain the tractor to the chopper and flown away right over that fence. But hey, who's to argue with a criminal? An article from agriland.ie, I believe an Irish website, posted the annual sales numbers for the total tractors sold in all of 2021 for Ireland. Now they had a gigantic increase of 24% more tractors sold in 2021 versus the previous year. However, that overall volume is quite small. Now there were 2,366 total tractors sold in Ireland in all of 2021. The most popular segment was the 101 to 140 horsepower with nearly 50% of the sales, 1,170 tractors sold. And for those of you living in the UK, who knows, maybe we can see it stateside, there's gonna be a new tractor racing show that's broadcasted on the BBC3. Now the expected title of this show is The Fast and the Farmer-ish. A loose take on Fast and the Furious, featuring a lot of young farmers out there with their skills, their racing skills, their hot rod skills, their modification skills. Who knows? I guess we'll find out. But it's pretty cool to have a show coming out all about tractors and farming. I'm going to see if I can find that online. Now, every week we do a giveaway. We give away some swag, some merch, hats, pens, stickers, shirts, whatever we can find around here. We're going to send it your way to the most liked comment from the week's previous video. So if you want to have a chance to win next week, Leave a comment down below, make it something creative, right? Something to grab some attention, get a whole bunch of likes on it, and you can be the winner. That's gonna wrap it up for us this week. Again, we'd love to have you subscribe, hit that button down below, and if you own a tractor and want something for it, guess what? We can help you out. We sell and ship all over the country all the time. Check out goodworkstractors.com. We're always looking for new content, so if you have a modification, a video, pictures you wanna send over, send it to tractortalk at goodworkstractors.com. Thanks for taking time out of your day to stop by, and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.